Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to emit particles from a vertex map. I have a subdivided big man model from the asset manager. You can see I have quite a few points and polygons here. And uh, I have a vertex map, which is driven by a field. If I press play, you will see that it is static for the time being, and I can always go and animate it if I wish to do that. So if I increase my animation speed, you will see that this animates. Now, if I select my model and go to the simulate and create a mesh emitter, the mesh emitter will emit from the whole mesh. Now, what I want to do is just to make it a bit more obvious, I'm going to emit particles that are going slower I'm going to go to the emission and make sure I emit more particles so we can see a denser particle generation. Now, if you go to the mesh emitter, you will see that in uh, points and surface mode, we only have the ability to emit from polygon selections and point selections. So that means that we need to go to our model, create a polygon selection. So let's create a polygon selection here. And in the polygon selection, we need to use transfer, which will activate the fields, remove the freeze, and in here, drag our vertex map. And this vertex map, using a tolerance of 50%, any values that are higher than 50%, the polygons are going to be selected. If I double click this, you will see them. Another way to see them is if you go to the mesh emitter, and of course, now you link this polygon selection in here and you go and you activate the draw and if you advance one frame it will draw the areas that satisfy this 50% uh, tolerance and now your emission is going to occur from whatever the values are so if I press play here you'll see that the particles are generated only in those areas fantastic now, one thing you cannot do, and let me turn off the draw because it's distracting me, is control the density of emission based on a vertex map. That currently is not possible. The only way to do that now is to use the values to kill the particles you do not want. But as far as emitting from a vertex map, this is how you do it. You convert the vertex map into a polygon selection or a point selection and use that in the mesh emitters emission restriction link. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.